It is a good idea to have an understanding when you view the discussion list page. There are ways to filter the messages so that you can view, see the topics that are unread. There's also a number of icons that appear underneath the topics. If you don't understand what I'm talking about with topics and forums and threads, you really need to review the tutorial on the structure of the discussion tool. To get to the discussion list page, click the Submission Review tab on the navbar and click Discussions. You'll be on the discussion list page. Underneath the New and More Actions buttons, you're going to see something that says Filter By. If you click on Unread, this will filter all of the topics and show you only the unread, any topic that has unread posts. So you'll see right there, that's the, if I click off it again, it shows me all of them. And again, you can see all of them or just those that have unread posts. So that's a really nice feature uh, and a time saver if you just want to see the, the topics that have unread posts on them. Across from the filter by is something called hide all topics. If I click hide all topics, it's going to collapse all the topics on the discussion list page. When you click on the hide all topics, underneath each forum name right here, you're going to get to see how many unread posts are in there, how many total posts there are, and how many topics are within each of those particular forums. When I click show all topics, it will expand all the topics. Now within the forum itself, underneath each forum, I have a hide topics for and the name of the forum. If I click that, it will then collapse the topics that are in that forum. And again, what it will also then show is how many unread posts, how many total, and how many topics are in there. What's nice about this is that it can keep you from having to scroll through a lot of pages if I'm not really looking at that particular discussion. And then again, I would click on the click to show, and then it expands it. So within the topic itself, there's some columns. The first column, topic, would be the names of the topics or the titles of the topics within that forum that you created. And you create all the topics, students don't. Under threads, it's going to tell you the number of threads that are within that topic. And those were created by you or your students. Posts is interesting. This shows the total number of posts within that topic. Now, if you see the, a number in parentheses, that number tells you the number of unread posts. And if I click on that number, you'll be taken into the topic and it will be filtered for only the unread posts. This is a real time saver instead of clicking on the name of the topic to view the posts because it will show all the read and unread posts. So when I clicked on that, you'll notice that it is filtered for only unread. And I know they're unread because of this blue this bar over here. That's how I know that those are unread posts. If I click back on the discussion list breadcrumb link, now if I click on the name of the topic, this will then show me all the red and unread posts that are within that topic. The last column, the last post column, displays a name and the date of the last person who posted to the topic. Now, there are also a whole slew of icons that are underneath the title topic. So I want to show you a, a bunch of these in some of the topics. Available. Available means that you have set a date for the visibility option of the topic. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, you may want to review the best practices for setting dates to make sure you understand how the, da the dates affect the, top, the discussion topic. You could see unlock. Unlock means you set the dates for the locking options for the topic. In this case, I set both, which is not a good idea. You might want to review again the best practices for setting dates tutorial to make sure you understand how the dates affect the topic. You may see something that says include assessment. That means that you've linked the topic to the gradebook. You may also see something that says post first. And that means that you set the topic so the student must do an original post before they can view other classmates posts. You may want to review the tutorial on how to set a topic to post first to learn how to do this.
when I scroll down, I may see something that says locked. Locked means that the end date has passed when you when setting the locking options. Students will not be allowed to, to, to do new posts, but they can read their posts and others posts for students so they can review the posts. If you see hidden, this means that the end date has passed when the setting the visibility options. The students no longer have access to the topic, which means they cannot view their posts or other students' posts. You may see something that says has release conditions. This means that you have place some kind of conditions on the topic such as getting a certain score on a quiz or viewing some content before the student can view and have access to this particular topic. You may see something that says group restrictions. Group restrictions means that you've, this topic can only be seen uh, by students on a specific group. And finally one that probably you will not use or might not have but if you do, moderated. This means that you've set the topic to be moderated, which means that you must approve all messages before they are posted to the topic. So I hope this tutorial helps you to understand a little bit better about the discussion list uh, page and the various features that are on it.